So basically, <coughs> I have um, a template here, which I use uh, for most of my scripts. And in here, um, I have a function created. It is a very simple function. Um, you can create your own. I, I will be posting this on, on the forum later on in case that it is useful for somebody else. But in general, you can create your own, mess, uh, your own function. Um, this particular function accepts two parameters, which is one, the message, and second, uh, a type of delimiter. This is just optional. I don't need this. Um, I just do it to separate certain informations that I want to highlight. Um, and uh, this particular function checks for a global variable called debug file. And that particular um, variable, what it does is that if you specify a file, if you, s if you put debug file and you put a path to a file, a txt file, whatever, um, the, this function, what it's going to do is actually append to that file. But if you do not specify a debug file, what it's going to do is send messages to a debugger. So um, why would this function be of use? Well, I have um, a program. Uh, I actually helped somebody uh, on, on a script and that script was being used by a lot of users and as when you put your code out there when somebody's using your code right away you will figure out that a lot of people are gonna message you back saying this is not working um, you know you have a problem with this we have a problem with that and often they do not read the messages that you put. You put a message box and probably they just simply go ahead and um, and click OK and that's it. Or sometimes they seriously do not understand what is wrong, right? And you do not get much feedback. You just get the it is not working part. So um, what I do with that particular function is that inside my script, I place that function everywhere. And I, and, and I try to be the scripted for myself, um, for example, I say why uh, why there was an error. I try to be descriptive. Um, here, what is doing at this particular line? It is creating a file, um, and so on. But this comes particularly handy in cases where you have this kind of loops. Let me show you. Here we have a loop that starts here and ends down here, and as you can see. Uh, even though it is not one of the most complex loops that you can see around, but it is a complex loop. And this is going to um, repeat several times. This particular variable contains several words, and it is going to be repeated several times. So I need to know exactly what is going on on each iteration of the loop. So my function, I can put first a message, for example, and I can actually mix the message with variable contents and that's where debugging is the most effective you put the variable contents so you can see what is going on at a specific time and if something is wrong then you say well that variable is not set correctly that variable does not contain what i was expecting or this or that and from there on you can try to um, figure out if the logic that you used to solve that particular problem is correct or not or if it is just a problem with um, the variables being set incorrectly, or if it was that the user inputted something incorrectly, you know, those things. Um, but as you can see, those message boxes are everywhere and they, they explain what is happening. But that explanation is not for the user. Again, that is for me. Um, basically, um, when, I tell, when, a, when a user tells me, uh, well, it is not working, I tell them, run the script and put a dash and a D in front of it. So I have another function down up here that what it does is that it checks the parameters passed to the script. And one of them is slash D, um, sorry, a dash D. And that stands for the bug. And what it does is that it simply sets this particular variable called debug to true. So basically, these messages, um, as you can see, I'm actually using the, the um, ternary operand here. And what it says is, if that variable is set to true, then send those messages. If that variable is not set, then those messages are not sent at all. So basically, when I tell them, run the script in the bug mode, then I start sending those messages. It can be viewed by a debugger, or I can actually tell them 
to um, to run it with a specific command um, SD in this particular case, um, which allows me to save to a specific file, um, which is basically the point of my main function for the debugging function. If I say SD and a file name, then it is going to be file appending there, right? So it is very useful to have a debug function and it is very useful to know where to start um, when looking for errors in your code and for that reason I made this particular video. I hope that actually um, it was helpful. I will probably later on try to go a little bit deeper into this topic because there's a lot of things that I haven't covered and as you can see this is a, a long video actually I will have to cut it in two parts right so um, I hope that this is um, useful and again I will try to upload this to the forums um, thank you guys for watching if you have any questions any comments go to the forums comment on the video IRC I'm not going very often because of um, real-life jobs it's very um, time-consuming so um, I will not be there very often anymore but I do check the forums and I do read the comments on the videos so thank you guys again for watching see you next time